The other thing I want to mention here on partnerships that we don't always talk about when you think about partnerships is poverty and homelessness. We, uh, Lane County is leading an effort around uh, poverty and homelessness, and Commissioner Farr uh, is a leader of this effort, uh, as well as the city of Eugene and the city of Springfield and others in our community to make sure that we are investing in and partnering to solve the issue of poverty and homelessness in our community. And I'll share with you, we're, we're very excited about the partnership we have with the city of Eugene for two new rest stops that have opened. If you've not been to these off of MLK Boulevard, I encourage you to stop by. They're adjacent to our behavioral health facility. This is Lane County land that we have at no cost um, uh, leased to the city of Eugene. And the city of Eugene has entered into a partnership with the Nightingale Health Sanctuary to operate two uh, rest stops of up to 30 unhoused individuals during the winter months. And if you haven't been there, I encourage you to go because if, if all, sometimes when people see the illegal camping operations, they think that's what a rest stop is. And that's not what a rest stop is. A rest stop is a safe, clean, accountable place for individuals to um, have a respite, particularly during the winter months. I had the opportunity, and Commissioner Farr did as well yesterday, to spend time with Eric DeBurr. Does anyone know who Eric DeBurr is? Well, that's great. Um, Eric DeBurr and his wife, Faye, who run community-supported shelters, and they run the three City of Eugene rest stops. And if you have not been to those, I encourage you to go to those because it's best to understand what's actually happening at these rest stops rather than maybe the perception that people may be left with. Um, there is no taxpayer money being spent at, these, at any of these five rest, rest stops. In fact, the city of Eugene spent, as I understand, around $250,000 last year cleaning up parks and riverfront uh, areas because of debris that was left from illegal camping operations. The cost to set up from this nonprofit organization to set up these rest stops, build the Conestoga huts, which if you don't know, the Conestoga huts were invented by Eric DeBurr. I didn't know that until yesterday. He invented, uh, this is one of our local residents, extremely innovative, uh, new uh, uh, housing opportunity, micro housing opportunity for individuals who don't have homes. 250,000 was sp spent by the city of Eugene last year to clean up the parks uh, and river. And about $60,000 was spent by this nonprofit organization to set up three rest stops and house uh, around 50 to 60 people. Uh, so this is something that is truly a wonderful public-private partnership. One of the things that Eric said to me yesterday was that before people need housing, they need purpose. And that, that, that will stick with me forever. That it's very true. And, that, and I think what we're trying to do here is help people get transitioned from an unsafe, unhealthy condition on the streets where they can have a respite and transition into more permanent housing. We know that the stats that we've collected so far on the rest stops, around 40% of the individuals that reside there have moved into more permanent housing situations, better situations than they were in when they moved into that rest stop. So I'm happy to answer questions about that. You can tell I have a level of passion around this issue because I think that we have, uh, we certainly have an obligation to partner, to find solutions, and the rest stops are not a, a sole issue. We also have the Operation 365 effort um, and the 15th night and other things that we're pursuing, but they are a part of the solution.